Quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks so much for joining us on a Wednesday. Emily's in the house. How are you, my friend? I am great. I'm coming off that quilt along this weekend. It was so much fun. So much fun. Okay, do you have a little show and tell? I do have a show and tell. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Yes. So it's not bound yet because I found out a little bit too late that I was not, I didn't have quite enough of the binding fa uh, fabric. Yes. But look at how fun that is. There's a die for all of that. There is a die for all that. I used my eight inch cube. I used strip dies. It Excellent. was fantastic. I learned about, you know, how to sub cut my fabric a lot more skillfully. And it just, it was such a big, great learning And you learning learned experience. a really crucial bit of information. I did. I learned that I was not sewing a exact quarter inch for like, the entire time that I've been sewing. Yeah. So I got myself my quarter inch foot and my seams have been perfection. We had a conversation about this as we were getting ready today about how when you don't have a quarter inch foot or you don't sew that quarter inch seam, you have a tendency to sew those seams wider. Yeah. And so your blocks become smaller and then you have this thing where you're just like fudging them to make sure they yeah, all line together. Yeah, I kept losing together. all my points and I didn't understand why, but now it's like, Eureka. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right, where is everybody watching from today? I know Michelle from Fort Wayne, Indiana. How are you, Michelle? How are you doing? And can you guys do a show about fan folding and how to cut fabric on your go? Vanessa asks that. Yes. We'll do a little bit of fan folding next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So make sure you uh, check us out. That's a great question. People ask us that all the time. We're going to show you a little bit today. Yeah. All right, so here is a look at our newest quilts in our countdown video. Look at this fun one Becky R shared with us. <gasps> It's wow. just total sampler blocks. Oh my gosh, there's so many, like your eyes just drawn all over. That's, I love it when quilts do that. Mm -hmm. I just love it. And some of the blocks are the same, they're in different colorways. Like, do you see the churn dash block? Yeah, am I seeing yeah. a windmill as well? Mm -hmm. oh my, or pinwheel? Pinwheels. Erica Good would job. be so happy about yes. that. <laughs> I know. Good job, Becky. Next up is Carol C, who posted this incredible quilt using the hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. Listen, what happens if you put AccuQuilt built? Emily, do so you know? We'll give you 250 reward points just for posting. Yep, once a month, right? Mm -hmm, sure it is, yep. Okay, do you know which die this is? That's the Hunter Star? Hunter Star. Yes, that's a popular one. And the one. beautiful thing that Carol did is that the center Hunter Stars are um, scrappy, but the outside is solids, right? Yeah, that's cool. And then a piano keyboard, it's beautiful. Mm. And then next, Molly W. provided this wonderful quote for us. Okay, Emily, you can redeem yourself. What right. die is this? It's the crossroads. It is the crossroads. <laughs> Justin knew that this morning. He, sure he gets extra gold stars today. Yeah, <laughs> good job. All right, today's show is all about the Go Mix and Match 5-inch cube and the companion set corners and angles. And we're going to be making blocks for the Go Sprocket Wall Hanging by Melanie Call of A Bit of Scrap Stuff. Okay. Hands down, my number one favorite pattern at AccuQuote currently right now is this one. So cute. It's so great. Melanie, good job. It really makes me want the five inch cube yeah. like so badly. All right. Yeah, it does. Okay, so let's talk about it. So what is a sprocket? Do you know what a sprocket is? A sprocket is a tool that helps chains and gears move. Mm. Okay, so here is the photo of the day. It's my little shovel iron, our little clover iron that's available on our website. And the question of the day is, what is your favorite quilting tool? Be sure and put in the comment section and Emily's gonna read those. Emily, what's your favorite tool? Well, my new one's my quarter inch foot. Yes. <laughs> it was my iron, but now it's my it's the quarter inch foot for sure. There is certainly an order of favorites, right? <laughs> yes, quarter inch foot, I, I can't even imagine. So in the comment section, we'd like to hear what you have to say. Quilters, we have a variety of quilting tools, including two kinds of irons. We have several kinds of fusible. We have stabilizer if you're doing embroidery. We have rotary cutters and rulers and pens and stilettos, oh my, all on our website. So be sure and check them out. So today while you're placing your order, maybe you need some of those things. Absolutely. Quilters, did you see this month's die to try? It is the Go Deer Head die. We did a fun project with that just last week. We've put together some very special bundles, including the Go Deer Head with our matte bundle. This die is only available at AccuQuilt.com.
Com for a limited time, so get yours while they're still available. Such a fun die. Plus, are you looking for a Go Cube to go with your new five inch cube? You can get, listen to this, quilters, 30% off cubes. You must use the code 30 cubes. Make sure you spell that cube with a Q U B E S, okay? And while you're shopping, make sure you check our overstock page for items that are already marked down. Some of those items are marked down hugely. Yeah. So make sure you check them out. This is a great time to stock up on some of those dies that you may have been looking for. No code is needed for the markdown sale there. Quilters, don't forget, transparency is one of our key values at AccuQuilt. With that said, there will be a product price increase starting next month on July 1st. So be sure and take advantage of all our promotions and bundles through the end of June. July 1st it starts. Today I'm giving away one of our five inch setting triangle dies. That way you can turn your five inch blocks on point. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. By registering you receive event emails. That way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. And the amazing Emily will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. Okay. All right, so the Go Sprockets Wall Hanging is there behind Emily. It is a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Be sure and download the pattern before your cube arrives. Okay, this pattern has all sorts of scrappy goodness. And you know how I love a good chain piecing project. Absolutely. This is that. Okay, and you look at it and you think, oh, this might be difficult. No, 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 you're only making two blocks just in different colorways which I think is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you not love this pattern? Obsessed, it, I'm absolutely totally obsessed. Totally obsessed, it. Melanie. Okay, <laughs> quilters, we have seven different sizes of cubes. They each contain the same eight shapes. They just come in different sizes. So four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, and 12. Um, for this project, from our cube mix and match cube, you're gonna need three shapes, okay? And I've already pulled them. I have shape number um, five, which is our small half square triangles. Mm -hmm. Shape number eight, which is our rectangles. There are two on this die board. And shape number three, which are large half square triangles, mm -hmm. okay? So those are the three that you're gonna need from the cube and I've already pulled them. All right. Perfect. Now this project also uses shapes from the companion set corners. And so let's open it up and see what's inside. Um, Emily, while I'm grabbing it, tell us what people's favorite tools are on our website. Absolutely. Um, oh, Candace loves her little iron. Yes, the shovel iron is the best. Beverly says her seam ripper. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Beverly, me and my seam ripper are also very, very good friends. Mm -hmm. So I hear you on that one. Mine are very good friends, <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, Pam at the quilt along. Yes. I had to rip. So I <laughs> I had one block that I sewed not once but twice incorrectly. One of my dear friends, Adeline, helped me rip those seams not once but Thank twice. Thank you to Adeline. Thank you, Adeline. <laughs> and Emily. So what you need, a friend to help you tear up your stitches. All right, so this is the companion set corners. Now the thing to remember about the companion sets is that they have to match the size cube you're using. Right. For example. We're using the five inch cube, we need the five inch companions. You can totally make this project out of any size cube. Um, say if you wanna use the 10 inch cube, make sure you have the 10 inch companions. It is not like your friends in real life that are different sizes, okay? They have to match the size. <laughs> so we're gonna pull out the skinny one first. What's in the skinny one? Do you remember, Emily? Oh, the cutting mat. Cutting mat, what happens if you try to use a die without a mat? Uh, absolutely nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull this out and go through the shapes in our companion set corners. Remember, all the shapes are the same in every cube, they're just different sizes. So shape number nine in the cube is this shape. These are the chisel shapes. This is a directional shape, so depending on which way you want your chisels to go, you'll lay your fabric facing up or facing down. And then what shape do we need right here in the end, Emily, to make a rectangle? Is that a quarter square triangle Close. or half square half triangle? Half square triangle, shape number five. Yes. Yep. This is signature block. And this also needs that shape number five. 
to um, all of the shapes in the companion sets and in the cube sewn together equal shape number one, okay? So we're gonna need this for the center of one of our blocks. Love the signature block. Okay. And these two shapes make bow ties. <laughs> I just love it. They also make snowballs in the winter. Um, so bow ties are, um, they just need these little half square triangles right here on the corners. So that's right. why you call that the workhorse die, isn't that why? Yeah, shape number five in yeah. our, yeah, because it makes other dies become new shapes, okay? Oh, cool. And don't forget, quilters, we have tons of videos on our um, Facebook page and our website and on YouTube on how to use the cube system, okay? So today's kind of a, just a quick overview. All right, then we're gonna also open our companion set angles. Yes. So we're gonna open it up. Pull the skinny one first so you don't break a nail. Inside again is a pattern book and a mat. So remember the cubes come with all the sizes of mats that you need. For example, the 10 inch cube can fit through your go and your go big. It has two sizes of mats. All right, we're gonna open this one up. <gasps> These two shapes work together to make the block triangle in a square. So this is an isosceles triangle. Mm -hmm. It is not an equilateral triangle, okay? And these two shapes here, this is the outsides to make, that you're gonna add here, okay? Mm -hmm. To make triangle in a square. This one you want to fan fold. Whoever was asking about fan folding this morning, mm -hmm. we're gonna show you how to fan fold. You need to fan fold a left and a right. Um, otherwise, you'll only get lefts and you'll be cranky about that. Oh, Pam, I have a great question about the five inch cube. Ask me. Will it work with five inch charm packs or is the cube five inch finish, meaning would it be half inch bigger than charm packs? Okay, so do you know how to answer that question? Well, if a charm pack is five inches, then I think that would fit perfectly on the die. The At least over the shape. Yes. yes. But what is the cube based on? A four patch system. So shape number one is gonna be a two and a half inch finished square. Right. Okay. So, so yes, it will work. It is gonna come right there to the edge. Yes, you just wanna make sure you're laying that out right. carefully, right? Right, because a, a charm pack is five inches, right? Yes. Yes. So if you were to take it and fold it in half, it would fit. Now here's my, here is my disclaimer, <laughs> okay? Not all charm packs are cut correctly. Right, so like when you go to the fabric store, not at Celtic Quilter, they always cut my fabric right. But sometimes you go to a quilt store and say you need a quarter of a yard, and if it's just shy of that, you know, 18 inches, right. then, or nine inches, it's, it's, it's not gonna work for your project. Right. So just keep that in mind. The four inch cube is perfect for charm squares. It is, that's a great question that's too, That's a great Tamara. question. Okay, uh, shape number 15 is the kite shape. This is a great scrap buster. Mm -hmm. I like this one. And you're gonna use those triangle and square sides mm -hmm. to make it into a square. Wow. And then do you know what shape this is, Miss Emily? Let's see, that is a trapezoid, I believe. It's a trapezoid. I've never cut them by hand and we never will because there is a die for that and we need them for our block. Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna pull <laughs> those out. All right, while I'm putting away my cube, don't forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, June 21st at just we relaunch a fan favorite die. Okay, be sure and register for the chance to win prizes. It's gonna be so much fun. Absolutely. Okay. And quilters, do you live in the Omaha, Lincoln, Council Bluffs area? I will be demonstrating our AccuQuilt product at the Omaha Quilt Show, which is June 24th. It's a Friday from 11 to noon um, Central Time. Stop by the Celtic Quilter booth and say hello. It is here in La Vista at the conference center. So fun. It's gonna be super fun. So stop by, we'd love to see you. I'm gonna come crash that. That sounds like too totally much Totally come and crash it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna make two different colorways of blocks, and I've already made them, okay? Uh, so we're gonna make two more today. And you want to look at the pattern and determine how you want to lay out your fabric. So I'm gonna lay them down here so we can talk about it, okay? Each block contains four of shape number five, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. half square triangles that are in the white, 
And this one needs four in a pattern. This one needs how many quilters? Six, Six. in a pattern, mm -hmm. yep. And don't forget this little one right here out of the green. I know, I had to go back and cut one, okay? Ah. And then each block contains four of our um, rectangle shapes, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to lay your fabric on your die so that we can cut them, all right? Now don't forget the four, five, six, and eight, four, five, six, eight, and nine inch cubes will fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me. Mm -hmm. But today I'm gonna use our Go Big so I can run two dice through in one pass, <laughs> okay? All right, so let me talk about this. This is truly my bag of scraps, one of my bags of scraps, okay? And look at this, so much fun, okay? And people ask me, like, how small is too small of a scrap? These are pretty, this is pretty much the smallest scrap I have in here, okay? Yeah. And as I look through it, I can think of all the fun projects that I made with it and so forth, okay? Oh, like this one was for my exploding heart quilt, okay? Aww. But these little pieces right here, okay? Oh, here we're gonna start with our other ones. Um, Oh, look, how square triangles, imagine that, <laughs> okay? So this one is, um, can fit, where's my shape, see? This is what you wanna do. You wanna look through and you go, oh, look. Look at you go. I know, take a little minute and think. Say, well, I need two of these or I need one of these. Mm -hmm. Look, I could totally use these half score triangles. Absolutely, you can. Okay, um, and then, so let's look at some others, because we're gonna cut these pieces first. Absolutely. Okay. okay, oh, I can't get all confused here. You know how I do that sometimes. Okay, so these are the half score triangles, these are the corners. So we need four in white and four in pattern, so we need a total of eight. On the die board quilters, there are eight half square triangles. So I, what I did was I measured from here to here. I have my little go ruler and I just rough cut some of my scraps. Hmm. So I just need one piece of my background. So nice. Don't read the pattern. Otherwise you're gonna waste fabric, okay? Absolutely. Now I also need six of these little blue, well, on this pattern, and I need four on this pattern. Mm -hmm. So watch this. This makes me so happy. And it's nice to have so many like on the die itself, because it just makes it so much easier when you're cutting different colors at the same right. time. Right, right. you go. Okay, so right here, this is my salvage edge. Mm -hmm. This is nice and tight, okay? Label it my belly, mm -hmm. lengthwise green, mm -hmm. okay? So I need, I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use red and purple for this, okay. okay? So I can just, look at this scrap. I'm just gonna lay it here, Perfect. okay? And then I'm going to use, I need six of them here. Mm -hmm. So let's do, I'm just gonna cut eight. And let me tell you why I cut eight. You see these? These are half square triangles. Aww. That I've, I, it's hard to cut just six, okay? So the extra ones I throw in here because sometimes I need little projects with half square triangles, okay? Perfect. Now, whoever asked about fan folding, let's talk about this real yes. quick. If I needed more than eight, I would take my fabric and I would go back and forth across the shape, and I'm gonna start here with the bottom so you can see, okay? And I would go back and forth just like this. This is called fan folding, Yes. okay? But I don't need that many pieces, so I'm gonna stop right there, okay? And I am, because I'm gonna run it through the cutter, mm -hmm. I am gonna trim this down. Sure, right? So it's not coming out both ends. Right, because yeah. it's always, it's already a scrap, <laughs> okay? So I'm gonna put that there, I'm gonna put this here, okay? You've got one. And then I need just one, right? Mm -hmm. So am I gonna cut just one? 
Nope. Nah. I'm gonna lay it right up here and cut two. Okay, so you can't exceed the six layer rule, but look quilters, now I've cut all of my half square triangles. There you go. I've only used my scraps, okay? So I'm gonna put a mat on top, okay? And then this one is that big half square triangle, mm -hmm. right? Sure. And so what fabric am I gonna use here? Well, I'm gonna use this, this purple, so I'm gonna wait to cut this, okay? Just, it takes a minute, just kind of go through your scraps. And the, but I do need rectangles. So here's my rectangles. I have enough from this little scrap to cut six of them. So when I'm done, I can cut some more, okay? This is, this is why I liked this block, because I do not have to buy any fabric. I'm totally gonna make it scrappy. This blue dot fabric I had, was just, I had some yardage of it, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use my Go Big today. Here we go. I have to say, Pam, I have a whole new appreciation for the Go Big. It made life so easy at that quilt, at that oh, quilt along. Because you like, were at the Celtic Quilter where they have one. <laughs> yeah, and they have one, yeah, yeah. It was so cool, I usually have my Go at home and you know, I'm hand cranking, but just to be able to like, just, you know, allow it to, go through itself, it was so cool. Oh yeah, because then you can line up the next dies. Exactly. Okay, so look, my scraps. Here's six of my um, rectangles, so we'll cut some more. But look at this, quilters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come and trim right here. Okay. All right. And it is not a Band-Aid, don't just yank it right off. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's that. Okay. And it's so satisfying to just see those that, you know, the outsides come off so perfectly like they do. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Nothing better. We should make like a video about that, right? Isn't that? Absolutely. I think there might even be one you know, of just pulling it off. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I'll have to do a TikTok on that. There you go. <laughs> and Paula actually is asking, can you make charm packs from the 10 inch die? Uh, that is such a great question. Oh, see now look right there. There you go. Uh, yes, because shape number one. Oh, no, 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 no. From the 10 inch die, 10 no, inch. No, charm die, pack from swear. the nine inch cube. Oh. Because shape number one from the nine inch cube cuts a five inch square to finish at four and a half inches. Gotcha. Remember quilters, all of our geometric shapes have that quarter inch seam allowance built in, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the question you should ask yourself. Am, am I gonna cut? You know, what is the finish size? Am sure. I doing a cut size or a finish size? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, here we go. So there's this. Oh, and I needed some more half square triangles or some more rectangles. So I'm just gonna take, I just need two more. Okay. And I, and I just think this is so fun. It really, really is. Okay, you totally could subcut your regular fabric and make this. But I feel like Melanie Call from a bit of scrap stuff would be happy to see us using our <laughs> scraps. Okay, and actually speaking of subcutting, Christy has a question. Yes, do I have an answer. Do people use their strip cutter before actually cutting then subcut for the die they're using? Do people use their strip die? Oh, I see what you're saying. Like if this was four inches, would I use my four inch strip die? Yeah. Um, I typically don't. Um, I don't know why, I just don't, but that's a great question. Yeah. This, this doesn't have to be exact. I feel like when I'm using my strip die, then it's the exactness, right? Absolutely. Okay, and see, look, okay, these are too small. All of you people who are crumb quilters, I'm sorry, but they're going in this, the bin. <laughs> okay, all right, so what shape am I missing here? What? There's this one, so it must be the signature block. Yes. Because did I cut trapezoids? Yes, you did. I believe you did with that like kind of fun orange fabric. At least I thought you did. See, look at us. Hold on, just everybody. Okay, while well, I figure out my fabric here, make yeah. sure, tell us um, what people are doing. Absolutely. Well, I Dawn agrees with me that the quarter inch foot is her favorite tool, which good on you, Dawn. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, let's see, Rosemary says a cutter. Uh -huh. They're her AccuQuilt cutter, I believe. Um, 
acorn precision fabric treatments. I've never heard of that before, says Jan. I haven't Jan. either. Oh, Christy says AccuQuilt as well. There we go. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, That's Christy. So um, I just showed you how to cut that trapezoid. I haven't cut it yet. So now I'm going to cut it because it needs to be pink. <laughs> and they can race through the go big. Okay, I'm just making sure I did this right, guys. <laughs> Everybody's like, Pam, Pam, this is what happens. Okay, these go with here. Oh, see, no. My trapezoid is a different color. Oh. Or my signature block is a different color. What color did I pull out? It doesn't matter. I can pull out any color I want. Yeah, we're scrappy today. We're having fun. Oh, right here is the signature block and then this. Yes. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I love um, that. When I made my blocks, quilters, I cut out all of my trapezoids and I cut out all of my house score triangles. Okay? Absolutely. Save yourself a little time there. Okay? But see, I can't imagine, I can't imagine cutting these by hand. All right, quilters, we put together some special bundles, including the Go Deer Head Dye Bundle. This bundle is only available at AccuQuilt.com for a limited time, so make sure you get yours today. Plus, talk about the cubes. Emily, what's the, the deal on the cubes today? So our cubes with the code 30cubes, um, they're 30% 30 off today. So, um, you know, say you wanted to upgrade, you know, get the 10-inch cube to go along with your 5-inch. Um, it's typically three. $309.99. Today it'd be $216.99. There you go. Great savings there. There you go. Okay. All right. I'm just getting all my blocks. Yeah. Making sure I have all my pieces. All right. Tell us what people's favorite cubes are. Yes. Well, we or have their favorite tools. Sorry. We have some more. Yeah. I, I, have, I love this. We've got plenty of folks who are also agreeing that the seam ripper is for sure an yeah. excellent tool. Diana says she has the stiletto and she says it's really awesome. It's really pretty, right? Yes. I love the stilettos. Those are, they, they're so helpful. Although I have long enough nails where I can just use, you know, do that. Oh to, my gosh, to, Emily, break a nail. That'd be terrible, sweetie. <laughs> well, but you know, and I, I learned the hard way about, and I, about not burning yourself the other day on your Oh hand. yes. You had a little ouchie on your hand this but morning. You know what? That's okay because it's, it's battle scars, right? There you go. <laughs> there you go. I tell you, some days, I, some days you just get a little wounded, right? You do, exactly. You just kind of got to go with it. <laughs> just fight for <Hey>. it. <laughs> so Miss Elaine says that her wool pressing mat and new, ooh, oh. new wool pressing stick. Hands for down. Games. Yes. Hands down. I tell you, there are some times that my watch tells me to get up and move. Because I have not, you know, I've been sitting there sewing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure I have all my pieces quilters before I start sewing here. Absolutely. Okay. And meanwhile, Miss Michelle also agrees. First one is the quarter inch foot. Second is the ripper. <laughs> I tell you, isn't that funny though? And I have to tell you, sometimes I've not had a seam ripper and then I'm really cranky about that. Okay. So I kind of changed my little colorways here. So I need to cut two more little half square triangles, but look how fast I'm going to do this. Wow why we do it. And truly, truly just cut yourself a whole bunch of little five inch half square triangles. Absolutely. You know, from the five inch cube because they're fun. Okay, I have to know, what is a clapper? Lori oh, says a okay. clapper is her favorite tool. A clapper is this wooden tool that instead of um, pressing your seams, yeah. you can just take it and just clap it down and it kind of gives it a little, Kind of like we talk about finger pressing, that okay. kind of does a little finger press on it. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds cool, Lori. I love that. Yeah. Um, if you go to the Celtic Quilter, they have ones that say Celtic Quilter on them. Oh, I love I know. that. Okay, I'm leaving all my scraps over here in case I didn't cut all the pieces right, right? right. That's how we roll here. <laughs> I love it. Look at all these. There's so much tiny fun. little pieces. <laughs> All right, don't forget, if you spend over $400, you're going to get a free Go Me. Um, be sure to check our overstock page for markdown items. No code is needed for this offer. And today I'm going to give away one of our five inch setting triangle dies. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. All right, so now I have all of my pieces cut, and now I can start chain piecing for days, okay? So um, 
I'm gonna start with these two shapes, okay? Because you're gonna end up sewing one to either side. Sure. Okay? All right, so I'm gonna move my phone because Taylor's calling and we won't listen to him. <laughs> Chances are, all right, here we go. Oh, so many fun tools that I've like, I'm learning about today, Pam. This oh, good. And does anybody have questions? So don't forget if you have questions to be sure and let the amazing Emily know and then we can. Absolutely. Well, actually, um, Dee Dee is wondering, I have the eight, nine and 12 inch cubes. Eight, nine, Should I get the four inch to go with the eight and the 12? Oh. I'd say that's a yes. Or the six inch. Ooh. To go with the nine and the twelve. That would, yep. Those are. That's a great um, idea. Boy, that is a tough. That's a tough question. Right. Well, um, I mean, the four inch and the six. Okay, inch, so and Dee Dee, they're both. So my the question sale. to you <laughs> is, right? My question to you is, how big are your scraps? Right. Ah. Are you? Do you have big scraps or little scraps? If you like smaller blocks, then I would tell you to get that four inch cube. Mm -hmm. But if you like a little bit bigger block, um, then get that six inch cube because yeah. then it works with the nine and the 12. You know what I've even done before when I'm looking at cubes it, for fun is to just see all the patterns that you can make. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's fun to look at, you know, cause on the item page, if you just scroll down on the right hand side, you can actually see all of the compatible patterns. Right. I don't know, sometimes it's fun to shop by pattern. And ask yourself, do you have a lot of bobs? <gasps> yeah. Right? How big are your bobs? Okay. Why I can talk and sew at the same time, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Watch this. I'm putting all of these right sides together, and I'm just sewing all of my half square triangles for my block. Okay? Perfect. And here is my pro tip, quilters. Read the entire pattern and make a test block, because if you don't read all the steps in this project, you're gonna find yourself wasting fabric. Absolutely. Even though it's your scraps, you're still gonna find yourself wasting fabric, okay? Because you're gonna cut too many shapes of stuff, okay? So now that we have our pieces cut, we're gonna start sewing our sprocket block. Okay, go ahead, Emily. So uh, Connie's wondering, can you use- no, We were no help to whoever just asked what size cube you should get. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, the sale today, it's 30% off, so just, Go for both. Yeah, you know? just get you one. And that'll ship to you for free because we have a threshold of 225 for free shipping. If you live in so the contiguous you, US. That's right, if you live in the contiguous US. So, you know, each of those cubes would be 174. You can get them both, they'd ship free. And then you're almost at that, honestly, you're almost at that free go me at that point. Like, oh yeah. You know, today is a really great time. I love it when we have, when we do a free go me. Right. That's well, it's perfect for like summertime, you can take them. You know, where you, if you're traveling or, you know, all of those kinds of things. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect okay. for kiddos and road yep. trips and all of the yep. things. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, this is not part of our block. I was like, ding, what is that? Okay, it is not. All right. So now that my pieces are sewn, I am going to tell you you want to press your seams open. Quilters ask me this all the time, right? Is, Pam, how do you know? Mm -hmm. um, Melanie said, press your seams open. She wrote the pattern, she knows, okay? I try really hard <laughs> when I'm doing blocks to not put like red and green or orange and black together because sure. then it kind of gives it that Halloween-y look, okay? All right, so, so now we're pressing our seams open. We have shape 10, we've added shape five, okay? Ooh, Connie has an interesting question. Hi, Connie. Can you use the kite shape to make Dresden plates? Use the kite shape to make Dresden plates. Um, let me look up. Okay, let me just noodle on that for a hot minute. Yeah. Dresden plate, Dresden plate, the answer is no, because the kite shape is already cut like a Dresden plate, whereas on Dresden plate, it's straight across and then a wedge. Whereas the kite shape is, is already cut. And 
then I think you're gonna lose that. And also the Dresden plate has a circle. I mean, we have 87 million circle dies. You can certainly choose one. <laughs> Never cut circles by hand. I don't know what circles are in the overstock sale, but boy, howdy, you need to get them. Absolutely. Okay, all right, so here we go. See, we're just cutting and sewing and ironing down. And then I'm gonna show you how to press the row together. We're gonna make a row. All right, Emily, tell us what people's favorite tools are. Yes, let's check here. So we've got, <clears throat> oh, well, sewing machine, obviously. Oh gosh, yes. <laughs> Thank you for whoever said that. Absolutely. Um, let's see, oh, Jean, Jean has a binding tool that she purchased. A bind, oh, I see what you mean, yes. Yes, it helps you sew binding. Cool. I know. Oh, Sue's so sweet. My AccuQuilt system is my favorite. I can cut the fabric correctly instead of wonky. Wonky is my word, yes. Wonky is important. Fabric, you know, gosh, there's nothing worse than cutting it wonky. We have a wonky heart, but that's meant to be wonky. It is meant to be wonky. <laughs> Sometimes I tell you that's the crazy quilt dye, but it's not. <laughs> okay. That was so fun to see all of our bloopers. Okay, so now I've laid out my block. You want to make sure that the two sides match, right? Okay, so now we're just going to come down here and sew our quarter inch seams. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Emily, while I'm sewing quarter inch seams, tell us what people's favorite tools are yeah. or if they have questions about our cubes. Ooh, I actually, this is a really, really great question from okay. Paula. Hi, Paula. Could you explain how to figure out which cubes pair with which? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay. So a couple of weeks ago, we had a special show called Mastering the Cube. Is it still on our website? It's on YouTube. And we talk about all the different sizes of cubes and how blocks work together. So basically what you wanna do is when you're thinking about the cube system, okay, so for example, let's start with the four inch cube, okay? So the four inch cube makes obviously a four inch block, but the smaller square, shape number two in the four inch cube, is actually a one inch finished block. Mm -hmm. So you could make it any size block. If we doubled it, it would make an eight inch block, which would match our eight inch cube. If we tripled it, we could use pieces to make a 12 inch block. Now, keep in mind, the block sizes match, but the shapes within them are going to be different sizes. Right. Okay, I think that's kind of what happens when you're thinking about the cube is that the four inch cube, you can keep adding pieces to it to make a 12 inch block, but it's gonna have significantly more pieces in it than a 12 inch block that you've cut from your 12 inch cube. Yeah. Okay, so you kind of have to look at the common denominator of what those shapes are. Well, and like you said, you know, we do have that fantastic video that was mastering the cube system where you went through and you, there were like these great, you know, breakdowns where you pointed to each, you know, block and okay, here's an example of the nine patch Look versus using my four patch. And yeah. yeah, that's a great video. All of our videos do live on Facebook and YouTube yeah. once, they're, once they're done filming. And so. it's called Mastering the Cubes and it really was a great class to learn um, how to Make sure that you're putting your blocks together. Okay, quilters, um, I caught the edge of that, and I, I want it to lay flat because this, these blocks are tiny. Yeah, itty bitty. Okay? You can't just mess, you just got to make them perfect, okay? Don't be afraid to use your seam ripper. <laughs> One of our favorite tools One after all. One of our all. favorite tools <laughs> of all. Here we go. Let's see what other questions. Okay, let's see what other tools have. they have. Look, see, this is why you lay them out, make your test block. Let's one see. time, one time, one time, I um, did not make a test block from a, our log cabin die, which is hands down one of my favorite dies. Yes. And I th sewed uh, 36 log cabin blocks together wrong. Oh, Pam. It wasn't until it was all done that I cried real tears. Oh, no. Okay, so. I'm gonna add this, and then I'm gonna add the other side of the rectangle. 
We're just sewing our rows together, quilters. And when you do this, when you make this quilt, this is exactly what you wanna do. You wanna create all of your shapes, lay them out, lay them out in rows, and just chain piece for days. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So we've got a very sweet, so Mary says that her loving sister is her favorite tool because she is a wealth of quilting knowledge and oh. my biggest supporter. Thanks for sharing that. That's always, lovely. Always great to have someone in your corner. It is. That's how you are, Pam. You're always helping oh, me get better. See? There we go. I appreciate that. It really means a lot. Well, poor Emily. I told her, I said, I felt like we threw you in the quilting <laughs> pool and didn't give you all the tools to do what you needed to do. Okay, so I almost just burned my finger here. We're pressing towards the rectangles. And then that way our seams will nest. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know what, That's it's it's just great for me to go, it's a great excuse for me to keep doing these quilt retreats and learning and you know, oh, yeah. it's really fun to figure yeah. out, you know, I think every quilt I learn something new. And Emily got to spend some time with our good friend, the featherweight doctor. Oh, Darlene is the best. Darlene is Darlene. She's, uh, if you don't follow her on social media, you should. Mm -hmm. um, she, if you have a featherweight machine, mm -hmm. holy smokes, she is the wealth of knowledge about, yeah. um, Featherweights. She even has a featherweight tattoo now. She does. I saw that. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, hey, so, so here's my block. <laughs> I'm gonna sew my rows together. Yeah, it was really fun. I saw her on Emily. Went to a class with her on Saturday. So of course I crashed that class because um, I know Emily and I know Judy from the Celtic Quilter. Yeah. And um, anyway, yeah, I saw her tattoo, and she had one <gasps> of the Tree of Life. Yeah. Die. And I said, ooh, there is a die for that. And yep. she laughed and said, that's exactly what Emily said. <laughs> said there you go, Darlene. We've so. got us, we're programmed. <laughs> yes, we are. Hashtag there is a die for that. Hashtag there's a die for that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Look at these. Don't these look like Christmas candies? Oh my gosh, they do. Mm -hmm. You could totally make this in a Halloween theme because it would totally look like Halloween Oh yeah. Candies as well. Oh, yeah. um, but I thought it looked exactly like little Christmas candies my grandma would have had. Yeah. The ones in the shiny wrappers and things. Oh yeah. Love yeah. that. Oh my gosh, we've got so many folks that are obsessed with their little irons. See, I tell you, until you get one, if you don't have one today, pick you one up from the AccuQuilt website. Seriously. Because they're amazing. Yeah, Paula, Dolly, Cher, all, like Annette, just so many, oh my goodness. Okay, there's our first block. We're gonna press it out here in just a second. We're gonna whip this one through so fast. <laughs> I know, I just get chatting, talking. When I'm at home, I, I don't chat so much because it's just me and Pearl during the day. <laughs> No, I, I always just watch movies. That's, that's what I end up thing. doing. Absolutely. I think that's like the best way to quilt is just turn on a good movie and Well, yesterday we thought we might just die in the heat because it was so hot. Yeah. And then last night um, we had tornado sirens go off, which I absolutely slept through. I'm amazed. Hundred percent. That's amazing. It's just amazing <laughs> that I'm here today. So this morning we have rain and it's much cooler but so humid. Oh my goodness. Yeah, right? it is. It's so it's humid here humid. in Nebraska. And if you're coming for the College World Series, we're excited to have you. Yes. It starts here this weekend in Omaha. I can't wait to go. I just got tickets for my, me and my what dad. What day are you and your dad going? Because you got them for Father's Day. I did, yeah. That's kind of our tradition every year as we go for, for Father's Day. It's really... Which day are you going? We're going on the 20th. Excellent. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's going to be a fun night. I hope it's not... Too, and I, I didn't want it's to go this be week because of how hot it was. I yeah, just it's going to be 100 next week. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. You know. It's the College World Series. It's so fun. <laughs> exactly. SPF 80 is like my best friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do love baseball. It is truly. My kids both played soccer, but baseball is my favorite. Okay, so this um, trapezoid here needs this shape number five and shape number three. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just sewing them together using our good quarter inch seam. Love that. And All right, Emily, tell us what other tools people are having. Yes. Um, a, oh, her eight inch black lightweight scissors, says Monreen. 
Oh, there you go. The, uh, ginger? Ginger. Is that the brand? Oh, um, oh. no, it is Gingham. Oh, Scissors. okay. Is that right? I think it is. I think that's right. Yeah, oh. I think so. I have a pair at home. Sherry I loves. have Karen K. Buckley scissors now. Right. They're on our website. They are so nice and sharp. I love the little green ones. That's the ones I have anyway. Yeah, Oaks was over the other day and she wanted to, I was, okay, I don't sew upstairs very often, but I was working on a project up there and she was there and she came in and was talking to me for a minute and she said, oh, I need to open some ramen <laughs> and she was going to take my scissors, my good. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, ugly bug. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I'm pressing my seams open. Okay, why uh, press them open? Emily, tell everybody about our blog. Oh, my gosh, we have such a fantastic Jeez, blog, y'all. that was noisy. So we have um, all of our go-getters and AccuQuilt staff write some fantastic blogs. Um, they have patterns that are completely exclusive, so you can only find them there on the blog. So if you're looking Which for... Which I think is so fun. I know. It's, it's like a secret. It is. It's like, a, it's like the best kept secret so then you know you go on the blog and there's all these new patterns and inspiration and tips and it's just a, a fantastic resource so definitely recommend checking out accuquilt.com slash blog right and you can um if you sign up then it tells you when the blog goes live it sure does yeah you can be notified weekly which is really really nice that's so fun okay i'm just pressing my seams open don't mind me folks all right i'm gonna press this one this way Oh, Sherry just got a new long arm she's obsessed oh, with. Sherry, oh, Sherry, that's super fun. Sherry, careful what you tell me. Yeah. I'm going to be calling. <laughs> yep. I tell you, every now and then I think, oh, I should get a long arm. And then I think, oh, no. Mm -hmm. I, it, well, just the time, you know. Absolutely. Okay. So look at this one. I'm going to do the exact same thing, right? I'm going to sew shape eight, which is our rectangles to the sides. And I think do the red point in. Yeah, that's what I mm -hmm. was. Okay. Yep. Oh, look at look this. At how the cool cute. thing about this is, like, if these colors weren't right, you know, mm -hmm. if you had totally different, like, this was different than the corners, no one cares. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no one cares. <laughs> it's a scrappy quilt. Exactly. Yeah. I love and this. Again, you could totally make this out of any size cube. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to adjust the fabric. Sure. Absolutely. Okay. I love this from Doris. She says that she puts her small scrap pieces in a pillowcase, and when full, she closes the open end, and those make great beds or for pet crates. No way. Little pet beds, isn't that cute? That is darling. I love that idea. That is darling. I saw somebody stuffing their scraps into a bear the other night too on, on, on Instagram. They were using all of their scraps to, yeah, to make them nice and fluffy. Oh, that's funny. I thought that was cool. That's funny. <laughs> I, just, I just get to the point though where I say, okay, this is the smallest scrap I'm gonna ever have. Right, exactly. You know, if I can't cut it with a four or five inch cube, then it is too small. It's true. You know, it's the truth. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to do the same thing we did. We're going to sew the rows together just like we did with our other block, mm -hmm. which is kind of fun. All right, Emily, what's their favorite tools people are talking about? Yes, actually, Roxy says that her favorite tool is her rolling cart for the AccuQuilt Go Big and Big oh. Sewing Machine. Otherwise, I couldn't sew with my friends. Amen, sister. So sweet. I, I have Eagles. one of those rolling totes and they are phenomenal. They are my best friend when I'm going to retreats and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, Cause I can put all my stuff in there. I bet it's so cool to be able to, you know, like the groups that just get together and sew and quilt mm -hmm. and just have a good old, like, I need to find a group like that in my. <laughs> you do, oh, hold on. In my peers. In your peers. You need to <laughs> go to peers. retreat with us one time. That That's the best. <gasps> yes, please. Yeah. I mean, up. Because at retreat, there is so much sewing and so little sleep. Um, it's pretty fun. That sounds awesome. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I have a great question. Okay, do tell you, us. Do you pre-wash your fabrics? I never, ever, 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 ever pre-wash my fabric. Ever, ever, ever. Here's why. <laughs> um, sometimes when you're going to pre-wash your fabric, what happens is, is that it shrinks. 
And so let's say I bought a half a yard and I needed truly a half a yard. Right. Then I no longer have a half a yard. Um, I find that when the quilt is all done and it's all bound and it's been quilted and bound and all of those fun things, um, then I, I myself wash it. If I give it away as a gift, mm -hmm. then I give instructions. Like I'll say, okay, I made Taylor that amazing um, skull quilt. Yeah. That, you know, took me years to make. So cool. I'm still not sure he's funny about that. So I sent it with washing instructions that said, hey, this is a huge big quilt. Take it to the laundromat. Right, because the laundromat um, has washers big enough. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. and wash it on cold and then dry it on a low temperature in a big industrial washer. So I, if when I give away quilts, and I'm gonna bet most of the quilters I know um, make quilts for other people. Yeah. That's just something that I've learned along the way is, you know, I'm gonna give them really good washing instructions Sure. Because then it's gonna work. Hey, my little purple fabric is not being straight there. I want to cooperate. Okay, what else? Ooh, Connie's actually wondering what makes the Karen Buckley scissors so great. Oh, okay. So our rolling tote, first of all, it fits our go big and dies. Um, it has a space inside for dies to go in, mm -hmm. and then it has this little zipper back that you could take off and that's where I put my strip dies Ooh. Um, when I travel with it and stuff. And I hate to tell you this folks, but here in Nebraska, we have weather. So sometimes I've been to quilt retreats and it's been beautiful one day and snow in the next. Oh wow. And the last thing I wanna do is haul my go big around in the snow. Yeah. So I could totally put it in a rolling tote and it's gonna work. Uh, make sure you stay open there. Um, it's going to work beautifully. And I'm telling and I, are they, I, I just feel like you should totally get you one. Absolutely. It's a great accessory. Yeah. It really, really is. Um, and I was just going to say, too, that, um, oh, my gosh, the ladies at, this, at the Quilt Along, like, they all had these little, like, some form of rolling something, mm -hmm. you know, to put all their, their machine, their, you know, all their accessories and things like that in. Oh, yeah. Was, I was amazed at the setups. I, yeah. I was so impressive. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's just, you just have to have the right stuff. Exactly. You know? And I just find that it's just great to be able to haul all that stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna press this one seam open and then I'm gonna show you. Because we have one more little trick up our sleeve. Okay, so I'm just pressing my seams open so they lay nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Terry, while you're doing that, Pam, Terry had a question regarding uh, the hashtag AccuQuilt built and posting. Yeah. So what you're going to want to do when you are posting with that hashtag AccuQuilt built, so the post has to be public and shareable for us to see it. So for yes. us to award those points. So that's just something yes. to keep in mind for you, Terry. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just going to put these right here like this because I'm going to show you this cool thing. Okay, so now... You have four blocks together. Look, Look how cute this is. That is adorable. Now, in the pattern, it has sashing and cornerstones uh, between the blocks. Sure. Okay? Cornerstones are super easy to make. And I'm going to show you real quick. Oh, we have just a few minutes. And then I'm going to show you how to make these. Okay? Because... In your quilting head, you're going to think, oh, i got to cut one and three quarter inch squares. There is a dive for that. There is okay? a dive for that. So again, here are some of my scraps, right? Okay. And I'm just going to cut some strips first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here. And I'm just going to lay my scraps out. Okay. Just like this. Okay. Want to make sure they're big enough to do the one and a half inches. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to use a smaller mat. Remember, it's only going to cut where there's fabric and a mat. There you go. Okay. Conserve those scraps. Mm -hmm. Love it. I mean, I totally could use it all, but for today, oh, don't spill. <laughs> okay. For today, this is what I'm going to use. So I'm just covering that first row mm -hmm. of, of strip. 
And this is where the go big just makes it so easy to do that oh, because, yeah. you know, in the go, bless its heart, it has a 10 inch um, width. The, four, the go big has a 14 inch width. Right. So you get those extra four inches of clearance when you're doing. You right. know, and with this like one, that. you totally want to make your cornerstones, cornerstone scrappy. So I'm going to put these back in the scrap pile. Okay. Now look at this. <gasps> I've cut perfect one and a half or one and three quarter inch strips. And now I'm gonna turn them at 90 degrees where it says 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my cutting mat on it again. <gasps> I'm gonna run it through. Strip this dye is magic. super, super slick trick, <laughs> okay? Yeah, this is so cool. So what, do you have, do we know the name of this block, Pam, that we're sewing? No. No. Should I know the but name of it? it's the sprocket pattern, I think it's is the go is the sprocket. Key. Yeah, the go sprocket pattern. So um, now look at this quilters. Now I've cut cornerstones out of my scrappy goodness. <gasps> perfect. That are perfect every single time. Okay. All right. To, so you want to follow the pattern to finish the quilt um, by sewing all the rows together with the sashing and the cornerstones. Lay batting between the quilt top and the backing, pin or baste your layers together, quilt as desired. Be sure and share your finished projects with us on our social media pages. Now, this is a great um, block to mix up with our 10 inch cube. So here I've made a block with our 10 inch cube. Okay, so if you didn't want to put your blocks together with cornerstones and sashing, you could just sew four of them together. Oh, look at that. And look at that. And then it's going to equal this 10-inch finished block. Mm. Okay, see how the cubes work together? That's what they're supposed to do. It's amazing. Okay. All right. Don't forget to join Eric and I on June 21st, Tuesday, June 21st, as we relaunch a fan favorite die. Be sure and register for the chance to win prizes. Don't forget we have special bundles available. The Go Dear, Oh Dear Project Die Bundle. <laughs> and these bundles are available for a limited time today, so get yours. This one has the deer head and the oven mitt and the stocking, which I think is fun. Mm -hmm. Don't forget you can get 30% off cubes by using the code 30cubes. Make sure you spell it correctly. 30Q-U-B-E-S. Uh, we will also get a free Go Me starter set on orders of $400 or more. All right. Fantastic. And don't forget to check out our overstock page for already marked down items. No code is needed for this offer. All right, Emily, we have made blocks. We have sewn some stuff. It's been fun. Can you announce our winner of our five inch setting trial? I would love to announce the winner. All right. Our winner, lucky winner today is drum roll, please. Tammy S. of Kelseyville, California. Congratulations, Tammy. You are going to love the five inch setting triangle. All right, quilters, don't forget to join us next week on AccuQuilt Live as we use that fan favorite die to make an amazing quilt block. You will love it. I have such fun inspiration. You don't want to miss out. Don't forget to register on our event page. All right, this is Father's Day weekend, so I would like to wish my dad a happy Father's Day. He is watching today from Utah. And here in the Dream Studio, Joe and Justin is having his very first Father's Day, so congratulations. On behalf of our entire team, we have Justin and Joe and Brock and, of course, the amazing Emily. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.